My name is Jenny and I'm the founder and CEO of The Beat of Life, a new music-based nonprofit here in Nashville. Our mission is to bring therapeutic music programs to Nashville's most vulnerable and challenged populations. I'm from San Diego, California, and I have a music background, but I'm also a social worker. Because of my own life challenges, I knew that I wanted to spend my life helping people to overcome the challenges and trials in their lives. Shortly after I graduated from college, I was recruited to launch a music program for a foster youth a residential facility. It was my first aha moment of really being able to fuse my passion for music with what I love to do best, which was helping people. When I got here in Nashville about nine years ago, I was recruited to do the same thing for an organization serving special needs individuals. Both of these music programs got cut due to funding. So when that happened, it made me start thinking, why when we're here in Music City with such resources, do we not have the funds for these programs serving our community? That thought led to the eventual start of this organization. We're bringing music into prisons, drug and alcohol rehabs, mental health facilities, military organizations serving soldiers battling PTSD, working with inner city and foster youth, special needs children, cancer patients, and on and on. We believe music is so much more than just an awesome form of entertainment, but that music has the ability to transform and potentially even save lives. The concept is basically using Nashville's greatest asset and resource, music, to not just churn out more hits, but to now serve our community in a greater way than ever before. It's the merging of our music community and industry with our social and human services sector. Our music community has talent, but also great heart. So when you bring those two together, it's powerful. A few of our first programs include Songwriters for Soldiers, which is a program um, serving soldiers that are battling PTSD. Redemption Songs, which is our prison program in partnership with Davidson County Corrections and Sing It to Stop It, Anti-Bullying Through Songwriting, which is a partnership with Metro Nashville Public Schools. We're creating programs for populations that oftentimes are at risk of suicide, programs that actually have the potential to save lives for our soldiers serving our country. There were more suicide deaths in the Army alone in 2012 than casualties of war. One thing that I have found to be most important for the Warriors is to have a place that they find as safety where they can sit and tell their story and be heard. And when they share that story, we then have also benefited from that story. We asked them to, to go into war, to take on this job, and I think it's our responsibility as a community to then help them to rejuvenate back into their full self. I was hospitalized for a few weeks, having some, uh, some thoughts that I know uh, were, not, were not good thoughts. And that's what a lot of us have to deal with, is get this stuff out, because if not, it's going to lie dormant and it's going to explode. Friends of mine, friends of yours, you know, that, that have issues right now that, that aren't here. I escape through music. It's so calming. You know, the military and this beat of life thing has been so awesome. I mean, I was fortunate to be selected to go uh, down to the retreat and I met so many wonderful people, so many. For our youth, at least half of all suicide deaths in this nation are related to the issue of bullying. I think it's a really great program, it's a great idea. Bullying happens a lot, especially at the middle school level. Teachers, we do what we can to stop it, but it starts with the kids. And I think the perfect avenue for our kids is music because they learn through music anyway. Music is 90% emotion and when you're angry, that's your avenue. Play it, put it into the horn instead of you lashing out to your teachers or your parents or even your friends. It's been more amazing than I ever really imagined. The community response in the nonprofit world and these um, partnerships, these partnering organizations and facilities that have embraced this in such a powerful way. The response from the music industry, 
it's really a win-win because the songwriters and musicians that are getting involved come away just as profoundly moved and transformed. I don't know if I've ever had a more rewarding songwriting experience than that one. And that's about as simple as I could put it and honest as I can put it. It's been a blessing how a song that I had to write about my own son has led us here to being a part of something so powerful. We're so thankful to have this opportunity with Jeffrey Steele and his family and friends through the Alex Lavasseur Memorial Fund. We really want to honor the memory of Alex, what this evening is all about, with our youth programs in the most incredible way that we possibly can.